What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to fix the iOS 9 update stuck at slide to upgrade screen. So earlier today I got this comment on my latest video, and you can see he got stuck on slide to upgrade screen. So in this video I'm going to be showing you how to fix it. So if you manage to get past the software update failed error when you're trying to update over the air, then there was a potential of getting stuck at the slide to upgrade screen that forms part of the process. As you might expect, when a problem exists there is a general way to fix this and in this instance the fix appears to be a restore from iTunes. Now assuming you already have a backup because usually when you do update to the next firmware, Apple does automatically backup your device, meaning before you try to do the upgrade everything should still be there when you do this restore. So how exactly do we fix it? Let's get into it. First of all you'll need to go and connect your iOS device to your PC or Mac using the latest version of iTunes. Now if you don't have the latest version of iTunes it is iTunes 12.3, a link to it will also be in the description. From there you'll need to select your device which will be at the top left. Now if for whatever reason your device is undetectable, do a force reboot. The way you do this is pressing and holding the power and the home button together for 10 seconds until the Apple logo appears on the screen. Now the final step, simply hit the restore backup button and locate the backup file to begin the restore. Now the time will vary with this, if you did have a lot of stuff on your previous backup then the time is going to take longer to do this, if you didn't have as many things then it will be quicker. But anyway that is how you do fix getting stuck at slide to upgrade screen, it's pretty simple to fix and you should definitely have one of the iTunes backup because I'm pretty sure every time you update on a new Apple firmware they make you backup your device first. Now if you don't have an iTunes backup I'm afraid this is the only way to fix it at the moment so you're just going to have to restore it. So that is it for this video, I hope this video has helped you and I hope it has worked for you. Be sure to go follow me on Twitter, I'll keep you updated when I'm posting and what I'll be posting. Also be sure to check out my gaming channel which I'm starting up pretty soon. And finally be sure to go and add me on Snapchat where I'll show you what I do throughout my day. See you guys Casual Savage here, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.